Hello everyone, um, welcome. Here, I'm gonna go actually do this because it's way better lighting, but you can see behind me, so this is New York. So I am in New York right now. Um, happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you've been having a wonderful weekend. And I'm just out here by my little lonesome self uh, doing a bunch of fittings and a ton of work. And so I'm gonna actually be moderating today's Q&A. So, Please bear with me, Doran's usually my moderator, um, but he's not in New York, he's actually in LA right now. And so, um, I'm in New York by myself doing this. But as always, I always promise you guys that every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will do a live Q&A no matter what. So this is me showing up and trying to answer all your questions. Um, Probably not as smoothly as I've done in the past because usually Dorian will at least have all the questions moderated for me and he'll have it already queued up and then he'll get to your guys' questions. Um, so I'll have to read through everyone's. It won't be as smooth, but not too bad. But right now I'm actually so oop, bumping into things, but I'm enjoying beautiful New York. I'm here for fittings with clients. That's Times Square over there. So 42nd Street. Um, so. I'm at this place, but I've been here since Friday. I'll be here for a couple more days. Um, and yeah, so um, as always, this is my live q and I'm actually gonna turn, so better lighting this way. There you go. Uh, I don't have my little pod set up. It's literally my hands. <laughs> so if it's a little jumpy, please excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, but hey, uh, so this is my live Q&A where I answer all of your questions about style, grooming, etiquette, dating, whatever questions you have, I will answer. And, um, and yeah, today is a free for all. So I do want to let you guys know though, next week, uh, I've been getting so many questions. When is this grooming series coming out? So next week will be the debut, well, next Sunday. Sorry guys, next Sunday will be the de debut of the grooming series. And so that's why I want to answer any of your questions that are grooming related next Sunday. So if you have any grooming related questions, please let me know next Sunday for my live Q&A at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will answer only those questions. It's gonna be a themed Q&A um, in honor of the kickoff of our grooming series. So I'm really excited. We've been working so hard over the last six months and you guys are gonna really enjoy the series. But I do wanna know all of your questions because it's not finalized. We haven't filmed um, anything. So that's why, you like by all means, let me know your questions. Although I have thoroughly researched everything and tested everything over the last six months. So I think I could be of a better assistance. Um, uh, and I'm very excited about that. But if you have any questions that you want answered during this live Q&A, uh, you actually have the option, as soon as I answer all the previous questions from the last uh, live Q&A, which I always answer any comments that are upvoted um, in the last q and I'll always answer those. But if you want me to answer your question during this Q&A, then by all means, you have the option of spending five or 10 bucks um, and it'll just appear really bold on my screen. I'll make sure to answer that before I sign off for today. Um, by the way, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of the uh, well wishes that we received, Dory and I received last Sunday because we were so sick so sick and it was terrible um and so sorry guys um it was yeah it was we were delirious like honestly delirious last sunday uh we got very very sick and um i really appreciate everyone that tuned in and also just all the well wishes that we received after um so yes okay i'll answer the damn questions i'm sorry mr biggie stop being impatient all right okay uh, first question up, please give your opinion on men wearing dress pants and shoes with no socks with your, where your ankles show. Um, he's 50 and he's like, I guess not, it's a young look, but still dress shoes with no socks, question mark. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I absolutely love when men wear no, a no-show sock, so still wearing a sock, but when men wear no-show socks uh, during the spring and summer months, I actually think it's a very subtle but stylish touch uh, to 
Um, just being very uh, season appropriate, and I think it's one of those things where, okay, I get it, like if you're very old school, like wearing shoes with no socks would seem weird, but you actually are gonna be wearing socks, they just don't show. Um, and I actually, I think it's a really cool touch, a very subtle touch that any man can do, where it shows that they have a sense of style, they have taste, they want to um, look cool and make a statement, but not like, but very subtly. And so that's why I always like highly suggest uh, no, so, no show socks. Um, I think it's like a really just great way and I think it's very appropriate in the spring and summer months um, so I hi highly recommend that okay moving on uh, when is the grooming series so like I mentioned in my intro to this live Q&A uh, so we are kicking off the grooming series with a live Q&A next weekend so next Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, where I will be answering all of your questions about grooming so um, it will be a grooming theme. So next Sunday, we'll kick it off, and then you will have uh, that Monday, I believe, um, some really great content. But I'm, I'm so excited. My team and I have been working so hard the last six months with, um, with the series, and I think you're gonna be very, very uh, excited and impressed and find it very useful. So there you go. Uh, so. Next question, I am looking for one type of boot for my shoe collection that can be dressed up or down. Do you think a Chelsea or Chucka boot is better for my situation? Okay, I have been asked this before, but I will answer this. I highly recommend going with a Chucka boot. A Chelsea boot is very specific and can only be worn with a certain types of clothes, usually only with skinny jeans or slim, like very slim fit jeans or chinos um, or suiting. I would say uh, only a very certain figure can can pull it off and it's usually someone that is more on the thin side because if you're on the thicker side, you have thighs, you have hips, you maybe you might have a stomach, you don't want to wear a Chelsea boot because it will, you have to the only way you can wear it is if you have a really tapered leg. And the problem is, is that if you're on the heavier side and you have a tapered leg, it actually makes you look really top heavy. So very hippy. So like you have love handles, all of that. And as well as just like very top heavy in the stomach and the chest. So you actually don't want that, which is why I don't recommend Chelsea boots for most men. So hence, uh, Chukka boots is the best option for you. You can dress it up or down. I wouldn't wear a Chukka boot with a suit, but I would wear it with a pair of black jeans or even like a nice like charcoal gray trouser, uh, wool trouser. That is a great way to dress it up with a sport coat. Um, and I would say that's the extent of how formal a Chukka boot would be, but I love it. It's a really great option. Um, so I highly suggest that. Okay. Let me keep going on. Okay, next question. What's your opinion of flannels? Okay, so flannels, um, I guess it's just one of those things where uh, usually it's, it's very fall and winter appropriate. So wear it during the fall and winter. I like it as a layering piece. So I like to layer it underneath a nice jacket, um, usually a casual jacket. Oh, sorry, I feel like I'm shaking this phone. There we go. Uh, usually a nice, uh, casual jacket and um, you can wear it on its own with just like a t-shirt underneath but I feel like it's still just a little too lumberjack. Flannels are I think very tough because it projects a very emo or lumberjack vibe and I'm just kind of of the opinion where people make their judgments, their, at least their initial judgments about a person based on their appearance and I want you guys I want you out there to project the best image possible and the one that's most representative of you. So that's why I've never done an episode about the best lumberjack plaid flannels out there because I think that they project a very specific image that I think most men don't fit. And um, yes, there can be like a substitute as a light jacket, but it's just, um, it's one of those things where I think it's very important that you guys put your best foot forward and that's why I um, I think that if you're a band emo person then 
by all means, go for it. I think that's how people make their kind of first judgment uh, with someone that wears flannels. So um, I'm just not a big fan. I think there's other really great options out there where you can be classic and timeless and not be judged by what you wear. So that's my opinion about flannels. I know it's very long, but all right. <laughs> okay. Um, so I actually, at this moment now, 10 minutes in, I'm going to go, uh, answer all of your questions right now, um, that you guys are typing in the chat box. Uh, bear with me because I do actually have to read through it. Doran usually does this part for me, so I have to do it on my own. <laughs> um, by the way, let me know where everyone's from. I always love hearing like the hellos, I'm from Iceland, or hello, I'm from um, Egypt. Like I, it's it's so cool, and it it's just like, it's awesome. And thank you again for all your support out there. Okay, I'm starting from the top, going my way down. Hey Ash, um, is your summer suit guide uh, it, or in your summer suit guide, you mentioned that uh, burgundy is a great color for the season. The, does this mean burgundy um, burgundy is okay for the summer? If so, I'm guessing pair with lighter color shirts. Okay, so burgundy, if you want to wear it during the summer season, then go with like a burgundy either sport coat or bomber jacket or a burgundy pair of... Um, uh, of uh, chinos so that's the way I would do it and then pair it with a light blue like Oxford dress shirt or light blue t-shirt it's a nice way to lighten it up because when you go with something a little darker um, in color especially during the spring and summer months you want to pair it with lighter color pieces to kind of just bring it back where it's more seasonally appropriate because if you're wearing you know all black like I am right now, but um, it's a little colder in New York. But if you're wearing like all black um, or just really dark colors during the spring and summer months, it actually looks very off-putting and very unapproachable as well. Okay, um, let's keep going. So I answered that question. Um, oh, hey, the Caribbean, Trinidad. Hey, guys. Uh, okay. So, hey, Ashley, what is a good option for white shoes if I'm flat-footed? Sand Smiths don't fit properly. Um, then try a all-white Ultra Boost. Um, I have to say, so let me see if I can put my shoe up. Okay, so I got my Ultra Boost on right now. I'm going to have to say, wow, what I was actually just texting Dorian this. What a difference Ultra Boosts make when you're walking around constantly every single day walking for miles and miles on end holy crap they are so so comfortable so um ultra boost adidas ultra boost they make an all white version please check that out because i feel like i'm walking on marshmallows and i walk miles like every single day when i'm in new york um and they really really help so it's incredible okay um let me go because I want to show my love for everyone that um, came and joined uh, my live Q&A early. So I want to answer your guys' questions before I start getting to the bottom. Uh, okay. So what is the difference between a suit and a tux? Very easy. A tux has satin lapels and you wear a bow tie with it. There you go. Suits you wear either with a tie or no tie. Um, and they won't have satin lapels. Uh, thanks for all the compliments, everyone. I'm not going to read them because that would make me blush. Uh, what's the latest movie you've worked on? Well, I don't work on movies, but uh, currently um, some of the people that I'm working with, uh, they're, so I'm working on all their press appearances. So Veep has come out this season, so has um, Silicon Valley, and my clients are on that, and I am loving the new seasons of both of those. Uh, King Arthur's coming out, so I have a really awesome client um, that's in that, and um, a couple of other things that I don't want to say yet because it's a little premature. Okay, uh, moving on. Oh, hey, Scotland, and hey, Argentina. Wow, <laughs> and India. Yay, I love all this. And Seattle, and Panama, and Belize, and Connecticut. See, if Dorian were here right now, he'd be like, Ashley, you can't say hi to everyone. You gotta answer the questions. Hey, Norway. <laughs> I just wanna say hi to you guys. You guys, I mean, you're awesome. I am not single. Uh, like I've mentioned in some of my videos, um, I am already taken, and Dorian is my fiance, got me this beautiful ring, and um, he moderates this. So if you've been a follower of mine for a little bit, then you would know that. Okay, uh, let's see, what else, guys? Uh, 
Ecuador. Okay. Oh, someone said, oh, oh, Michael, our friend Michael. He's like, hey, where's Dorian? Oh, never mind. He's sitting next to me. So that means, oh, Dorian is watching this with our friend Michael. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, so I... I'm here by myself, like I said in the beginning. I have to do this all by myself, hence the shaky hand, because I have no stand. Dorian did not give me a stand when I came to New York, so I have to do this Q&A just with my hand. Oh, Dorian's saying hi right now. Hi, guys. Uh, when is the wedding? I have no idea, guys. I am very busy right now. We are filming so much content for you all out there, and that's kind of priority right now. So Dory and I are very focused on that, and also just making sure my clients are all settled. Eventually, the wedding will come. I'll document it, although I feel like there's going to be some tears and broken hearts with some of you guys. <laughs> uh, someone said, how many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak English. Uh, Vietnamese, that was my first language. I speak some Spanish, and I speak a little bit of French, but my French is like, oui, bonjour, bonsoir, uh, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not very good. Um, let's see, uh, are white converses a good option with big feet? Yes, okay. I actually, wow, you know what? So I had a fitting this morning, and uh, my client had a size 11, 11 and a half shoe. I have to say a lot of men actually, they, they think, especially when it's 11 or above, they think that their feet look a lot bigger than they are in white shoes. And I have to say it's because you guys, who you out there who has an 11, 12, 13, whatever, when you look down at your feet, it obviously looks bigger and it's more enhanced. It looks more enhanced uh, when you're wearing white sneakers, but visually it is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. So you have to just like look at your shoes in a mirror or have someone take a picture of you and it, there's nothing wrong with it. So um, I do feel like uh, a lot of a lot of men out there think that their, sh their, their feet just look a lot bigger in white sneakers and it's not true it's just you guys are just looking at it down like downwards so but I promise you it's not the case um, my way said what do you so what to do if you plan on losing 20 pounds I seriously thought like when are you I thought you asked me when am I gonna lose 20 pounds I'm like do I look that full <laughs> uh, okay wear clothes and get clothes that fit you now um, that's my biggest recommendation. Do not get clothes that fit you a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks from now. Do not do that. That is a reward to yourself. If your clothes no longer fit you because they're too loose, then that is a pat on the back. Like, hey, I'm making a lot of progress with my health, my diet, my exercise. So get clothes that fit you now and then worry about it when it gets too loose. That is my advice. I am happy to meet Kevin. Um... Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna scroll a lot more because you guys have a lot of great questions, but I love everyone that has given me so much love in the beginning of this video. Um, okay. Go about it. Um, let's see. Okay, um, actually, hey, what stands out on Instagram that you like for you to press that like button or even follow them. P.S. Follow me, I value your opinions and styles. Um, so I actually, like I love Instagram and I'm, I'm a big user of it. And I just follow people that are just very inspiring or give me really good inspiration for um, just future styling. I, I just like seeing very unique things or just seeing um, very classic style done well because it is all about those little details and I, I love it when men just nail that and just get that look so right and so perfect. Um, hey Modest Mouse. <laughs> I love everyone that's tuning in. Thanks guys. I feel pressure though because I'm all here by myself. <laughs> Normally Dorian's with me. Okay. Um, so someone asked, um, hey Ash, should I wear a belt with my suit? Please, please, for the love of God, do not wear a belt with a suit. Um, it is absolutely horrible. The buckle's very distracting. I will never put my clients 
um, when they are wearing a suit with a belt. Like I will never have them wear a belt. Your suit pants should fit, number one. And number two, a belt is just, it's very distracting. Um, so don't ever do that. Okay, I'm scrolling up more, sorry. You guys are answering a lot of, or asking a lot of questions at the bottom, but I gotta, I gotta scroll up. Okay, uh, <laughs> someone's like, this guy, ouch, ouch. Um, he was like, no stand, Dorian? You monster breakup worthy. Since Dorian left me here in New York without a stand to hold this, so I'm holding it with my hand and my hand's getting numb as we speak. Uh, Okay, hey Ash, can you make a video on um, men's summer clothing or give some tips on it? Well, you are in luck, Luca, because I actually did, uh, so I wrote a whole free summer's ebook um, where I notated and gave out all of my favorite summer items and where to get them. So go visit ashleyweston.com and go download that for yourself because you will find it very useful. I've also done a whole video about my top 10 favorite uh, spring essential items for men and top 10 spring, or men, or uh, summer essential items. There we go. Tongue twister. <laughs> Why do I make my titles so difficult to say? Uh, what looks good for uh, with white jeans? Someone asked. That is a good question. Uh, and um, so, a couple of friends of mine love white jeans. I actually personally, I think they're very difficult uh, to keep clean, which is why I mostly do not put my clients in them. But uh, white jeans look really great with not only brown dress shoes, uh, but navy, white, gray. Um, burgundy sneakers and dress shoes so you actually have like a lot of different options to go with um, so sneakers or uh, dress shoes all right guys I've been doing this for too long 21 minutes but thank you everyone for joining me for my live Q&A um, I just want to let you all know that if you have any questions that I that I did not uh, answer please leave it in the comment section below up both the ones that you want me to answer for next week um, as long as it's grooming related because next Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time I will be answering all grooming questions because we are about to start our grooming series super excited so again Again, theme for next week. Next Sunday is the grooming series to kick off our finally, finally, my grooming series. My grooming series. So I cannot wait for you guys all to watch this. Um, so again, leave me your questions down below. Thank you again so much for joining and for asking such amazing questions. You guys are wonderful. I love all the love. So mwah, have a wonderful week. All right, bye.